Welcome back to our fourth video for chapter 4, Effects of Electric Current. And in the previous video, we studied the right hand thumb rule in order to find out the direction of the magnetic field produced in a conductor. Right? So, we realize that when the current is flowing in an upward direction, when the current is going upward direction, we align our right hand thumb upward and check how the current is, how the fingers are curling. We find that our fingers are curling in an anti-clockwise direction. So we realize that the magnetic field is produced in an anti-clockwise direction. What happens when the current is flowing downwards? Then align your right hand thumb downwards and check how the fingers curl. We realize that this time the magnetic field is produced in a clockwise direction as our fingers curl towards the clockwise direction. What happens when the current is flowing towards the left? Okay, so when the current is flowing towards the left, we realize we have to align our thumb in such a way that we are pointing towards the left and see how the fingers curl. So fingers are now curling upward. So from down, it's going upwards. What about when the current is flowing to the right? All you need to do is align your right hand thumb towards the right and find out how the fingers curl. And that gives you the direction of the magnetic field. Okay, now what happens, we have learnt this in the previous video, that when, the, uh, when, uh, con when current flows through a conductor, the magnetic field is produced in concentric circles. Okay, and as you go away from the center or as you go away from the conductor, the concentric circle become wider and wider and wider and wider, right? So what will happen when we curl the straight conductor into a loop? Okay, we have now converted the same straight conductor. We have coiled it in the form of a loop by bending that straight wire. Let us understand how the magnetic fields will be generated in this loop. Right? So, can we apply the right hand thumb rule here to find the direction of the magnetic field? Surely, yes. Okay, now what all we need to do is understand that in this case, this part of the loop, the electric current is going upwards. So, align our right hand thumb upwards. That means the magnetic field is produced in anti-clockwise direction. Now, the current on this side of the loop is going downwards. So, align your right hand thumb downwards and the, you will find that the thumb, the fingers are curling in a clockwise direction. So, in this case, the magnetic field is produced in a clockwise direction. So, this side of the loop current is going upward and the magnetic field is in an anti-clockwise direction. In this part of the loop, the current is coming downwards. So, the magnetic field is in the clockwise direction. Now, what happens if you try and go to the center of this loop? Okay, if you come to the center of the loop, you will find that the concentric circles are becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Ultimately, they are no more like an arc. They are almost like a straight line. Okay, so you find that the magnetic fields now have become more and more like straight lines. Right, so something like this. In the center, you don't really have many concentric circles. You find them uh, the magnetic fields now are produced in a straight line, right? So, after understanding that, let us understand what is a solenoid. You have a question here, what is a solenoid and compare the magnetic field produced by this coil, by this solenoid to a bar magnet. What is the similarity between the two, between this magnetic field of a solenoid and what is the uh, similarity with a bar magnet. So let's understand that concept now. Before that, let's understand what is a solenoid. Now, the intensity of the magnetic field produced at each point will depend upon the amount of current flowing. If you want to increase the magnetic field, you will have to increase the current flowing through it. And for that, we can, we can do that by curling this uh, conductor into many many turns okay and uh, any conductor 
which is shaped like a helix consisting of many many turns which is in turn connected to the battery which now acts as an electromagnet can be called as a solenoid so in simple terms we can say solenoid is nothing but an electromagnet but which is prepared when an insulated copper wire is wound like loops into a spring okay so that is a solenoid it's an electromagnet which is shaped in the form of a helix or in the form of a spring what is the purpose of having solenoid as i explained to you already it is to generate more electric field through the coil which is wound here like a helix or like a spring now how does the solenoid work okay how does it work like a bar magnet now in the previous slide i explained to you how when the current is flowing through this coil electric fields are generated when the current is going upward the the magnetic field are moving in anti clockwise direction and when the current comes down the loop the current the magnetic field is moving or uh, the magnetic field is produced in clockwise direction so much so when you come to the center of the loop so when you come in the center of this loop the lines are almost parallel okay so therefore now one end of the solenoid will behave as a north pole and the other end will behave like a south pole because the lines in the center of the solenoid now the magnetic lines of course the magnetic field lines are now parallel okay and therefore one end of the solenoid will act as a north pole while the other end will act as a south pole now this diagram is important it can come for draw to explain what is a solenoid and how does it uh, behave like a bar magnet and also label the various parts of this bar magnet okay so here we have a solenoid these are showing the direction okay of the magnetic field anti clockwise clockwise direction when it goes upwards when it goes downwards okay so here it is going in clockwise direction here it is going in anti clockwise direction one end is north pole the other end is acting like a south pole it's a simple diagram it's a very simple concept now what will be the effect of magnetic field produced by a magnet on the magnetic field produced by a conductor now what you see in this picture here we have a conductor through which electricity is flowing okay so in fact this is an electromagnet because this conductor is acting like a magnet so it has its own magnetic field and we have placed this conductor with its own magnetic field in the magnetic field of a magnet horseshoe magnet okay now what will happen think about it there are two magnetic fields what happens when we bring two bar magnets close to each other if they are uh, unlike poles they will attract and if they are like poles they will repel right so the same uh, same concept can be applied in this case as well so when a coil of wire carrying a current which is now has it which now has its own magnetic field is placed in a magnetic field it will the coil will start turning okay and this is called as a motor effect because the coil now will start rotating because both the magnetic fields are now in contact with each other in the eighth standard i'm sure you prepared something like this okay this is a simple electric motor electromagnetic motor okay a simple electric mag uh, sorry a simple motor why do we call it as electric motor because it's produced uh, here the electricity is used to produce the magnetic effect and this copper wire is placed in turn in presence of a magnet so both the magnetic fields are acting on each other and we are converting this electromagnet or electromagnetic current into motor effect mechanical energy so the motor is rotating all you need to do for this is get copper wire convert it into loops of many 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 turns okay one end of it place on a pin which is shaped like a y the other end is placed 
freely it should rotate freely if you attach it tightly here then it's not going to rotate you are not allowing you are not keeping it free to rotate so we place it gently on this y of a pin and another y of a pin on the side the other end of the pin is attached to the battery one end is attached to the positive pole the other end is attached to the negative pole and this structure now is placed in the presence of a powerful magnet the moment this one behaves like a magnet and this one behaves like a magnet okay so what happens is the coil will start rotating this is a simple motor and this is how a simple motor works okay so how does a simple motor work how do we construct it we will study in our next video till then bye bye take care god bless